We here at Asthma Australia are really keen to make people with asthma lead completely normal lives. Our goal is to keep people with asthma away from doctors, away from hospitals, and to lead as full and as rich a life as they possibly can. I'm Simon Bowler, I'm a uh, respiratory physician. Part of my work is uh, to be on the Medical Advisory Committee of Asthma Australia, where we seek to minimise the impact of, of asthma on uh, people who are suffering from that condition. Indeed, our goal is to cure asthma, but that might take a little bit longer. There is a story, much less common these days, I'm pleased to say, that having a vaccination for influenza could actually cause flu or even could cause asthma to flare up. But look, I'm really pleased to say that there is absolutely no evidence of that. All you get from uh, an influenza vaccination is a slightly uncomfortable arm. How important is influenza for somebody with asthma? Well, potentially it's very important, particularly if your asthma is not quite as good as it should be. Uh, influenza can increase the amount of inflammation in the bronchial tubes, which makes the narrowing of the bronchial tubes, the wheezing, the tightness and the cough even worse. Quite appropriately, people with asthma think of themselves as normal and that's exactly what we want. And perhaps because of that, um, they're living a normal life, they're taking, hopefully playing sport, getting exercise, uh, doing all the things that are important. And uh, maybe influenza and uh, uh, infection with flu doesn't come into consideration. If you want to stay healthy, if you want to stay away from doctors, keep yourself away from hospital, not have to take uh, uh, medication like cortisone, then a good thing to do is to have an influenza vaccination so that you don't get flu and so that your asthma remains very well controlled.